is only for the serious girls you always have to look like you have a bag of money even when you're waking up a listening gives you more power and all these girlish girlish scents they really smell cheap i said what i said when you do too much you look like you're trying to get some attention from somewhere i'm still a fan even though i'm salty hate to see you with some other but i know you happy hate to see you happy ever welcome back to my youtube channel my name is patience Wendy. if you are new here you almost definitely most welcome and thank you very much for joining and clicking on this video on today's video we're going to talk about how to look expensive on a budget i'm going to be breaking it down for you on how to look a body on how to look luxurious trust me guys you cannot imagine how cheap it is to look expensive you guys already know whenever i'm seated like this it's always about tea baby it's always about tea let's get started first of all this topic has always been very very controversial so i'm gonna be stating it in my own terms let's first begin this video by defining what luxury is according to the english dictionary luxurious means a state of extreme comfort elegance by giving yourself self-indulged and sensual pleasure one thing when someone says or i just hear the word expensive on a budget for me it just comes to you as a person and what you wear number one always wear basic colored clothes by basic colors i mean brown white or black or not always wear have more of them in your closet because you don't want to be looking it's always very easier to style than like neutral clothes so it's always giving you options on what to wear no one even in the social media will be like oh my god you repeated this logic colored clothes really don't give you a lot of options if you're into colored clothes maybe it's your birthday maybe you have an event it's something that you won't be wearing twice or thrice or like five more than five times you get my point so i always feel like white is very elegant black is very elegant brown is very elegant you want to be looking like you are expensive but on a budget so always uh include a lot of basic colored clothes on your closet and you'll get to thank me later the next point on how to look expensive on a budget is accessorizing your clothes so for me today i'm only wearing my earrings and it's because i can't be wearing a necklace on this outfit like it's so close to my neck so in immediately i include a, a necklace it's gonna be like too much so the only thing that i've done is i have taken my most expressive accessory and it's gonna like speak with a lot of depth for you to look expensive on a budget you always have to look the part i always keep telling you guys packaging 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 you always have to look the part you always have to accessorize your your outfit you always have to look good so for you to look good you don't have to do so much and for accessories i'm also going to be like mentioning on the makeup i always don't feel like it's And we are back. I'm, uh, I hate flies with my whole life. So I was saying, for me, I think accessorizing your outfit also includes makeup. Makeup is some sort of accessorizing your outfit and everything. So I always feel like also makeup really complements your outfit. So when you do too much, you look like you're trying to get some attention from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And for most expensive people or people who are luxurious, people who are very elegant, they don't like attention. But the little they do, the more attention they get. Just be very simple. I always feel like minimal is maximum, if you get what I'm saying. This is only for the serious girls. Even with my friends, I I feel like I just chose the right people because we don't do too much, but we get so much from not doing too much. So always just do minimal makeup for you to look expensive. Wear scents smell good and one thing i'll advise you people you don't have to buy a fifty thousand Kenyan shilling cologne for you to feel like oh my god i'm luxurious i'm smelling good we wouldn't even know how much your perfume is not unless maybe you write it somewhere on your chest like my perfume costs like fifty thousand shillings we don't care as long as you smell good and let me tell you one thing one trick about scents if you're starting out or if you're a beginner on scents always pick wood scents always pick wood scents because and also these small little uh they're called perfume oils they really really come in handy in case maybe you don't have enough money or in case maybe you're trying to out you're trying out new scents and all these girlish girlish scents they really smell cheap i said what i said i said what i said they smell cheap they smell cheap and trust me you don't want to be smelling cheap 
you don't just be smelling like each and every single person walking the CPT. You get what I'm saying? Like, just find your own signature scent and make it so exclusive. Like, make sure it's a scent that no, not each and every single person will choose. Get to always just be out of the crowd. Because for me, I always like to smell good. I always get compliments about how I smell good. And my colognes don't even go more than 10,000 shillings. My most expensive cologne was only, I think, 25,000 shillings. And it was a present. You get what I'm saying? My colognes even, there are 3,000. I've made a whole video talking about affordable scents. So, please. If you're looking to smell good on a budget, you need to take a step back. Know what you like. But personally, I will tell you for you to smell good, you always just do wood. Just do wood scents. Google on the most affordable wood scents that you can be able to afford. And I'm going to give you one example that you must buy. And here it is. This cologne was given to me as a present and let me tell you, let me tell you, it was only costing like 12,000 shillings, like, okay, that, it, it, it was brought from Dubai, so when it came to Kenya, when I saw it in Kenya, it went for like 12,000 Kenya shillings, and it is the most luxurious wood scent I've ever smelled in my life. All these wear scents, for you to look expensive on a budget, you have to smell good for you to look good. One thing about looking expensive is how confident you are. You cannot be looking innocent. If you get like innocent and you expect you to look expensive. When you walk into a room, you must be very confident. Let me tell you, if you don't watch all these, I personally watch all these videos about how to walk into a room elegantly, how to do all these things. I can't remember her name, but I'm gonna pull her up her name here whenever maybe I remember or I get it when I'm editing this video. And let me tell you, once you walk in a room, first things first, don't look down, don't look at your phone, look straight ahead. If you don't have a table or someone already there, look straight ahead, find a service attendant and ask him or her for a seat, for one or two. Be confident, look good, like walk with a lot of mm. That makes you look very expensive. Always be confident. It brings out a certain element of elegance, a certain element of luxury in your life. And once you do that, you're gonna thank me later, honestly. Next thing, buy good hair. Or do good hair. So this type of girls who are doing this type of hairs, this type of hairs, this type of hairs. This... I said what I said. You look damn cheap. You look damn cheap if you're still doing this type of hairs. If you are like me and you're always into wigs, always invest in wigs that you know are gonna last you a long time. Always invest in wigs that are just easy to wear. You don't have to do anything. Like this wig I have, it's glueless, but I have actually glued it because I'm not planning to like remove it from my head today and also like tomorrow. So I've glued it so that it can be able to just like stick there. You get what I'm saying? So always look good. Always just buy. This hair is a simple, you cannot even imagine this hair is less than $120. You cannot imagine. I bought this hair for 11800 at Human Hair Care Center. I always keep tagging them here. I'll keep tagging them here all the damn time. It's because this hair is so pretty. It's so easy to install. You just spray water and some mousse and then that's, that's just it. Always have beautiful hair, outstanding hair. Another thing is your nails. Let me tell you right now. If I don't have short nails, short, cute almond nails, I don't have nails at all. I always keep my nails short, elegant. I don't wear funny colors of nails. I always tell you guys, whenever you wear colors like neon, neon pink, neon green, neon orange, you look cheap. And tell what I said, you look cheap. When you wear nails that are this long, you're not Cardi B. We won't love them. Keep your nails clean, short, elegant, basic colored nails from pink to white to black to nudes, especially nudes and just a little bit of French. You're gonna thank me later. I've introduced this to most of my friends and it has really worked. Stop wearing all these colored nails and just start doing basic nude colored so that you can look expensive, you can look luxurious. Have you ever seen Hailey Bieber, Lori Harvey? Put in all these nail colors that you guys put on. 
So for you to look luxurious, you have to look minimal. You have to look like you're not craving for some certain type of attention. I'm done with the nails. This is something I learned over like a few years ago. Always speak only when you be. If you're into a crowd with your friends, it's fine. You can yapa yapa. But when you're on a date, when you are into a crowd of people that you don't know, listening gives you more power. You know what to say. You get to learn people first. You know what to say. You get to know what not to say to some certain people in a group set, in a group setting. And I always feel like once you know when to know what to say, it makes you unique. You don't have to be quiet the whole time because now that makes you feel like people can't even trust you. But like once they ask you a question, always just answer the question. Don't include your own things. You are shy. It's something that I've learned. Kitambo Mimi, I used to be a When I now decided to be like in my elegance era, mm -mm, I dropped that. Because it doesn't resonate with who I am. It doesn't resonate to how elegant I want to be. So I only speak when I'm supposed to speak, not unless maybe I'm with my friends. And it also depends on the kind of situation. Next point is ATK. I don't know how many times I'll tell you guys, but I don't know why you're not listening or watching videos on YouTube on how to hold a champagne glass, on how to eat, on how to order. You know, most of you people, I've noticed that most of you people you don't know how to order. You don't know what starts, what's the main, what's the core, what's the dessert, what to order before. You're out there ordering champagne. Or maybe ordering red wine. And you wanna eat pork or you wanna eat chicken with red wine? Are you okay? Or does because let me tell you, once you go onto these maybe dating sites and maybe you find yourself, you bag yourself a jungu guy. A jungu guy means like a white man. <laughs> and you're embarrassing. They're gonna leave you. Because there's no way you're gonna bag an expensive man or a luxurious or an elegant man and they expect you to order and you order trash. It's better for you to just be open and be like, you know, babe, I'm not used to this type of things and it's high time you teach me. You're going to be very, very happy to teach you. So always know what wine pairs with everything and what wine pairs with beef, what wine pairs with chicken, what wine pairs with fish, salmon, all these things. You have to get to know how to order, baby. Don't talk while eating. Don't pick your phone at the table. Don't be on the phone texting when someone is talking to you. It's rude. You have to look expensive. You have to look elegant. You have to look... Ugh. So for you to own all of that, you have to have 80k. Don't take back my words on that. Next thing is when you're not wearing skincare, when you're just at home in your PJs with a bonnet in your head, how do you look? Because for me, skin is looking good. Everything is looking perfect. My brows are microbladed. I'm also planning to get like uh, lash installments. I'm having a lip gloss on. You have to, let me tell you, you have to practice elegance even inside your home. Because charity begins at home. And let me tell you, Mina, let me tell you one thing. There's no way you can convince me that you don't practice all these things in your house and you want to practice them outside. That means you're lying to yourself. And you're also lying to all those people that you're going to meet. Because at the end of the day, maybe what if that person that you're pretending to be luxurious on gets to marry you? Or maybe you get into a relationship and then suddenly you don't know how to hold a wine glass. Suddenly you don't know how to do your skincare. Suddenly you have hyperpigmentation. Suddenly you're looking like crap at home. You always have to look good, tantalizing. Don't just be... Okay, there's a very big difference between on how I wake up and how I look right now. There's a very, very big difference. And let me tell you, I don't look crappy even when I'm not looking like this. I don't. Because my skincare is always done. My hair is always done. If I don't have a bonnet on, then I have lines on. And they're always well done. You always have to look like you have a bag of money even when you're waking up. Ah, there's a sleeping on it. Mm. The ninth point that I'm going to be mentioning is value of money. For you to look expensive, you don't have to own everything that is acquired with a lot of money. Because knowing the value of money makes you save more money, hence makes you feel like you've got the bag. Let me give you a very good example. Uh, I'm probably wearing a foundation that costs like 900 shillings. And 
I also want to like buy another one that costs 1800 shillings and they perform the same purpose. They bring out the same thing. So why the hell would I buy the 1800 shillings one just to please whoever that I'm with that I've got money? I'm not gonna do that. One thing with me, you'll always see me in the CBD if I'm not looking crappy. Crappy means I'm probably something in a dera. Like I'm always not looking like I need a lot of attention. Because once you need a lot of attention, you will look vulnerable. And you don't want that in the streets of Nairobi, if you know what I'm saying. Don't pretend to have money when you don't have money because you're gonna use a lot of money trying to pretend that you've got money. The other point is never let your guard down, baby. Right now at this moment in time, I was crying, not like crying, like I was, honestly, I'm in a very bad state of mind. I have to make a lemonade with all the lemons that are around me. I'm going through it. I'm going through it, bitch. I have to get, but I, don't, I can never lose my guard because once I lose my guard, then I start making very, very hefty decisions. Never let your guard down as a woman because it will make you very, very vulnerable and people are gonna take advantage of you once they know that you've let your guard down. But once you're sad, Put some makeup on, shoot a, shoot a TikTok while you have makeup. Like, just luxurize your life. Let me tell you one thing. There's something I've been taught in therapy, and I'm gonna even show it to you here. This is actually my joy list. I'm not gonna, if you saw anything, well, that's the, the thing, but I'm not gonna be telling you like what's in here, like deeply, deeply. But I'm only gonna tell you, like, when you're feeling low, write a joy list down. Write each and every single thing that can sort you out with any problem. For me, the first one is listening and dancing to music. The next point is putting makeup on. Once you're feeling sad, just go back to your joy list and pick out something that you can be able to do immediately something that won't cost you money because let me tell you once you're sad you make very very bad decisions and also when you're very extremely happy you make very bad decisions always know your stand always balance your life for you to also look expensive and luxurious the last point wear clothes from anywhere you want in nairobi we have places like gikomba uh think twice somewhere the, like places in the CBD and maybe some other places that maybe you don't know. And toy markets, Play, one, person, one place that I've actually never been. But when I tell you this Zara top I'm wearing, cost only 50 shillings. You're not gonna believe me. If I tell you these earrings that I'm wearing right now, cost me only 200 shillings. You're not gonna believe me. If I tell you this hair right now, cost only 11,800 shillings and since this is an investment I can be wearing for like years you will not believe me tell me I don't look luxurious tell me I don't look like a buddy tell me I don't have tell me I don't look like I have a bag wear clothes from me anywhere you want the earrings are statement earrings from Du Bois that cost only like 200 shillings the hair is from Human Hair Care Center and it looks so fucking pretty those are the points that I was gonna give you about how to look expensive on a budget. So I'll break it down to you so that you can also choose your fights. And also, if you agree on any point that I've said, comment in the comment section down below. So let's talk about it. If you like this video, put a like on it. Also subscribe if you've not subscribed to this channel. And this is a new journey about elegance and dating and looking expensive and looking like a rich buddy and all these things. With all that I have said, I'm gonna be seeing you guys on Friday. Bye.